Hey guys, came across a kind of cool thing uh, online the other day. It should be a very helpful thing if this works. Uh, basically, it allows you to take, uh, well, your 2003 on up uh, Dakotas and Durangos and Ram 1500s have a five speed automatic transmission. Well, it's technically called the 54 sorry the 545 RFE and it's actually the same tranny as the 45 RFE uh, the only difference is tuning software and from what I've read is that this transmission has three sets of planetary gears as opposed to two sets in a normal transmission so if the calibration actually existed we should be able to get uh, I was reading someone said eight speeds out of this but we're shooting for five here uh, direct bolt on um, now the thread that I was reading said that this will work for any 01 to 02 4.7 liter Durango or Dakota or any Ram 1500 01 to 02 with the 47 or the 37 as long as it has an RFE transmission. Um, the way to identify this is you look at your this is your TCM transmission control module this one has three mounting bolts mounting lugs according to the thread online if you have three of them or sorry if you have four mounting bolts then you for sure have uh, the five speed already I do not mine's an O2 it's only a four speed I'm doing around 2,000 rpm at 70 down the highway um, they say after doing this, the four to five shift occurs at 55 miles an hour and um, the torque converter doesn't lock up until 50 versus 40 from before, which you can either like or hate. Uh, it's more performance and sporty, I think. But essentially what this is, is you're using a Jeep PCM in your Dodge. And for some reason, Dodge cannot program a Jeep PCM and Dodge did not come out with an update for this but Jeep did so from what I was reading is you can get a 01 Jeep Grand Cherokee PCM that one might have to be flashed otherwise you can get a 02 Jeep Grand Cherokee PCM part number 560-44574AC and that's been proven to work as well as the 03 to 04 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee TCMs, which is mine's an 03. That's what it said on eBay. I got mine for 80 bucks on eBay. And this one has a P at the beginning of the part number, but I just searched for 560-445-74AC. So, um, and those of you guys with the 2000 Dodge Dakotas with the 4.7, um, Maybe the 3.7, not sure. I think it only works for the 4.7 on the Dakotas and the Durangos. But um, I was reading it says for the 2000s, this mod will work. But the truck in the 2000s used a little bit different communication link. So you will get a engine light due to the com communication error. And the little gear selector there, it said that all of those gears will be highlighted rather than just like you can see right now park uh, they would all have a square and you would have an engine light so if you can deal with that then the five speed should work otherwise for 01 to 02 dakota and ram 1500s with rfe transmissions this should be a direct bolt-in so i'll be the guinea pig and i'll quit yapping and we'll get started all right so the pcm is under the hood so first thing we do obviously is pop the hood this right here is your actual engine computer, your ECM. You're moving front of your airbox. I'm not sure on the Rams, but on the Dakotas and the Durangos, your PCM is right here by your AC line. So we're going to remove part of the airbox to get to this. What you do is remove this 10 mil nut, which I already loosened up to make it a little bit easier for the video. And then you'll lift on the airbox slide it back a little bit. I used a flathead screwdriver or a pick to get and kind of get in this groove here and push down on this tab. And there's one on the bottom too which is kind of tricky to get at. 
but you gotta pry both those and then you can move the airbox back far enough and shoehorn this little intake horn out of your way. As you can see, it's it goes into the airbox pretty far, so you do need to remove these uh, this bolt and lift up on the airbox. You can see there's a stud down there that this rests on. You just lift up and slide back. So now we can access our PCM. The size socket you need to get the plug undone is either an 8 mil or a 5 16 Either one will work. Kind of a long bolt. Almost there. There we go. Just get that out of the way. Now's a good time to check the pins on here and make sure nothing's corroded or bent or damaged and fix that if necessary. Now the mounting screws for the PCM are same size, 8 mil or 5 16 We've got one right here. You can also use a Phillips screwdriver it looks like. But we've got one right here. It's kind of hard to see but one down there and then one right behind this this guy right here. So three total. Just undo those. Alright we've got our three bolts out now it should just come right out. <laughs> got a B on there. And as you can see, it's a little bit different part number. So, definitely not the same PCM, which is a good thing. And you can put them side by side, and they look identical. So we're going to go ahead and bolt this one in, same order as we took the other one out, just set it in there. Put those three screws in. So we got that bolted up, now we're going to take this out of the way. Put our PCM plug back in. Make sure it's started nice and straight. You don't want to ruin this thing and try sucking it in with the bolt. It won't plug in all the way because the bolt does bring it in, but if it feels too tight, don't force it because you don't want to bend any pins or break anything or snap this bolt because then you're in for a load of trouble. You can just kind of feel it just bottom out and gives you a little snug. As you can see I'm using just a quarter inch ratchet here. We're not getting too carried away on it. Alright, so now I got all my tools off the cowl and under the hood here. Make sure we don't leave nothing under there. Uh, I'm going to leave my little in air, take, or air intake uh, taken apart for now, just to make sure that this works. I don't want to get it all back together and find out it don't work. Ugh. Now, I don't have an engine light, but all of my shifter indicators are lit up, so we'll see what happens here. That's pretty interesting. So it only does that in, sorry the sun's in the way, it only does that in park and neutral. So we're in park now, we go to reverse, neutral, and it does it again then drive two and one all work normal um, oh now it's in park and neutral so maybe it just needed some time to adapt uh, maybe maybe uh, having the key yeah you definitely want to have the key off when you do this otherwise it would even help to have the battery disconnected that could that would definitely help it couldn't hurt any but as you can see, it cleared up now, all on its own, and I actually forgot to turn the key off. So that's good. Uh, we'll take it for a little drive and see what happens here. Not gonna lie, I don't know if it's all mental or not, but it actually feels like this thing has a little bit more snap to it now. It might have something to do with the higher revving. But she pulls pretty hard. Feels a little bit harder than usual. There we go, what's that say? That's what we wanted to see. We're at about two or 300 RPM under two grand. I gotta slow down, there's a biker here. 
like I said before, stock 355 gears. We were at 2,000 RPM at 70. And it did go into fifth gear at 55, just like they said. Try to get up here again quick. There's 70 again. 1700, 1800 RPM. I'm getting 19 to the gallon right now. I could see this easily picking you up one or two MPGs. So, yeah, success I would say. And you should definitely spread the news on this. Save people money on gas and it's just better in general. So, just a thought uh, to keep in mind here. If you do have some sort of warranty on your truck still, this probably would void it if they figure it out because um, if you bring it to the dealer and they try to scan it if you have any future issues with your transmission and they try to scan it and they won't be able to hook up to it with the Dodge software <laughs> you're gonna have to remember to tell them that it's a Jeep PCM otherwise they might not be able to get into it to read codes so not only will this maybe void your warranty but you got to remember that if you bring it in for service don't go in and have them look at your Dodge and then they can't figure it out and they spend hours and hours and then they find out it's a Jeep PCM and charge you for it. So here we are, instant, on flat ground, doing 65. So right around 1700 RPM. Again, this is a 02 Dodge Dakota quad cab, so 4500 pound truck with 31 10 and a half all terrains, four by four. And for those of you curious about where the fifth speed uh, actually goes, your four speed is a three speed, which third gear is direct drive, one to one. And your fourth gear, I believe on these trucks is like a 0 0.70 overdrive. The fifth gear is actually a double overdrive at, I believe it was uh, 0.67, somewhere around there. So the fifth speed is a double overdrive, purely for better mileage at 55 miles an hour on up. Now, if you want to go one step further while you're at it and remove torque management from your truck, now would be a good time to do it. Um, basically what torque management is, is it reduces the amount of torque or horsepower put to the ground uh, off the line and it also reduces power between shifts for smoother uh, shifting and saving your transmission. Uh, the problem with this is you don't get to have the fun you want and uh, sometimes when you floor it while cruising it hesitates and lurches forward rather than just downshifting and getting on with it. So um, I've done this before on my Jeep and it didn't negatively affect anything. But once again, this would void your warranty. But if you're looking for a little bit of extra performance, this is how you would do it. You would remove with your eight mil or 516 socket, again, your TCM plug. All right, get that off of there. Now you can see these little fingers, there's one here, one there, and then two on the other side. Use a flat head or a pick to pry those fingers back and get this backing piece off to access the wires. I'm actually able to just use my fingers. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on camera here, but I was able to unhook these with just my fingers, just by pushing back that. There we go. Now there should be numbers on the back of this plug, and we're looking for number 10, which is, oh, right there you see that number 10, it's a yellow wire with a green stripe. So you're either going to want to toggle that into a switch so you can function it whenever you want, or do what I'm going to do and just cut it. <clears throat> so as you can see here. I left enough room, I cut the wire far enough back to where I could splice it back together if I have to. You don't want to cut it too short to the plug if you accidentally cut the wrong wire and it's too short to connect it back together. So what I did is I just stripped the wire back, put a, a heat shrink butt connect, connector on there, crimped it, and then put a little heat on it and it shrunk it down. This will keep corrosion out. 
Um, so now next we'll just pop this cover back on, same way you got it off, just slide it in until the fingers lock in. And then use your 8mm or 5 sixteenths to put your PCM plug back in. Alright, so now all that's left is to put your airbox back together. All you gotta do is get this hole lying back over this uh, stud and then this part back over that stud and put your 10mm uh, bolt or nut back on after you put your little horn in, which we're gonna do right now. So what I did was move the airbox back as far as I could and kind of cram this in, get the little notches lined up, and kind of shove her in there like that, and then push until it locks in. This should be facing the hole in the fender for air. All right, we've got our stud in the hole down there. We've got our air duct in place. Our stud right there. Just gonna cinch down this nut with our 10 mil, and we're all done. We can go for a rip. One final note: the overdrive off button on your shifter still does work, so you can still tow without being in overdrive. You can still be in direct drive for towing so you're not harming your transmission even after this uh, PCM swap.